So we're down to the final days of an exhibition at the U that is getting the attention of artists around the world. A picture gallery of the soul covers three centuries of the black American experience through the eyes or lens of black American photographers. Carla Holt is on the show now with a look at what is being called a groundbreaking exhibition. Hey, Carla. Hi there, Jana. And yeah, it is truly groundbreaking as artists believe this is the largest ever collection of black American photography. And maybe equally as powerful, one of the collection's curators is himself a trailblazer. Although inspired by one of our country's finest orators. Based on a quote by Frederick Douglass. A picture gallery of the soul reveals the power of images over words. At the end of the day, you still have to deal with the subject matter. And the need to reckon with centuries of perspective. So what we're looking at here in this exhibition is three centuries of black American photography from the 19th through the 21st century. As the exhibition's co-curator, Dr. Herman Milligan, walks through this gallery with a photographic memory. This is Kwame Brathwaite. Remembering each artist's significance. One of the creators of the Black and Beautiful movement. Appreciating the work in acquiring each piece. We knock on the door and say we'd like to have the work of this person in, in our exhibition. And Herman also sees in black and white or color. Frederick L. McGee, one of the first black attorneys in St. Paul. A history he believes should life. resonate with all people. You see people who are over time who have who they've gotten their law degrees or they or they graduated out of a, a beauty school these are sort of um, ways of be, uh, of documenting behavior that's relevant to, to like all humans. But even a universal scope still captures an experience uniquely black American. And this is uh, George Floyd Square. She had to be pretty close to get all this detail. This is, I think, a real intense photograph. The black state trooper who's now at this Confederate rally, and he has to basically make sure that nothing gets out of hand. More than 100 artists, 200 images fill the walls of this exhibition. This is probably the largest assemblance of black American photography ever. And the accompanying catalogs also exceeding expectations. If you're number one on Amazon in art history, I think you're doing pretty good. And all of this from a co-curator who's broken boundaries of his own. So I was the first black American to get a PhD in sociology when I graduated in uh, 1982. From the first First to receive that particular U of M diploma, to serving on art and literary boards, and the Minneapolis Civil Rights Commission. Herman, his wife and daughter have lived the peaks portrayed in this portfolio. So the title of this is African American Mountaineers in Alaska. But Herman has also endured the reality reflected in the lens of his fellow artists. There is, for me, like an intersection of my life uh, that's basically shown here on the wall. It's why this cultural and community advocate believes art's new focus It was a dramatic shift. developed out of society's latest self-correction. It's unfortunate that it takes people to be killed in the street by the police or other sorts of unfortunate ways to die to have that kind of a movement. Whatever the reason leading to today's resolution, Herman and others hope here, at least, every image, perspective, person will contribute to a composite gallery of the soul. Dr. Milligan also created a soundtrack, if you will, that people can listen to while taking in the exhibition. By the way, during his time in the Civil Rights Commission in the 80s and 90s, he actually wrote the report that established the Civilian Review Authority, the body overseeing the Minneapolis Police Department. So he has been a change maker for a long time. If you are interested in checking out a picture gallery of the soul, you will need to hurry. The exhibition closes on December 10th. And Jana, we have hours and other details details on our website, care11.com. It's quite a remarkable human being and story. Thanks so much, Carla. Mm -hmm.